How to Download and Install Adobe Firefly Today we're going to see how easy and fast it is. In the previous video, we saw all the artificial intelligence applications that the latest Adobe tool incorporates. With it, you can not only generate images from text like with Midjourney, Dolly, or Stable Diffusion, but it goes much further and has applications in graphic design, photo retouching, incredible typography, editable vector generation, 3D objects, and even video generation. Certainly, it is the most advanced in artificial intelligence currently, and although it is currently only a beta version, the plan and new AI functions that the program is already developing seem to set it apart from its competition. But how do you use Adobe Firefly? Where to download it and how to get started with it? Let's see. And before we get started, if you're new to the channel and interested in visual arts and new technologies applied to images, I recommend that you subscribe so you don't miss any of this content. And don't forget to hit the bell. In the previous video, we saw the presentation of this new artificial intelligence tool that Adobe has launched, analyzing each of its functions. If you haven't seen it, I recommend that you take a look. But now the question is how to install Adobe Firefly or where to use it. And another question that many of you ask me is what is the price or how much does Adobe Firefly cost? Starting with this last question, if you are already subscribed to Adobe's Creative Cloud, none of its programs, even in beta, like in this case, has any additional cost. With the pack, you already have access to dozens of Adobe programs, and it is free, or rather it does not have an added price. But in the case of Adobe Firefly, due to its recent launch, it asks us to make a prior request. To do this, we must enter its website, which I leave below in the description of this video. It shows us some of the AI applications that the program incorporates, and we will download the beta join button. Here we see some more AI functions, some still in development, and in the upper right corner, we will click on the request access button that we are here now. And we have this message, it says that Adobe is excited about generative AI and wants to develop it responsibly and empower our creative community. In this beta version, you can try the functions they are developing, including text effects, text to image, and more. And this is important. You have to fill out a small form to request access. It's not the final version of the program, but a beta version of Adobe Firefly, as we have already mentioned, so they are gradually sending out invitations. They send instructions by email on how to get started once access has been granted, and the request is made through your Adobe ID, which you receive when you register to use any of their programs. Well, then you put your name here. Below that, you put your Adobe ID email. Then we select our country. Then we have to select the checkboxes that correspond to our primary creative activity in the last year. We have web design, graphic design, digital illustration, photo editing, layout, 3D design, and so on. Each person can select whichever ones they want. I'm going to put that the use I want to make of AI is to streamline tasks and improve the results of my work. Well, it's an example, but to sound more convincing, I recommend developing it a little more by writing something related to the creative activity or activities that we have marked above. We click the next page button and that's it. They say they have received the request to use Adobe Firefly and indicate that they will be sending out invitations gradually. There's nothing else for us to do, and when it's ready, they will send us instructions and access by email. As I said, it's a very recent release and is still being tested by both the developers and the users who request access. But once the final version of Adobe Firefly is released, it will be like any other program available and no need to request access in our Creative Cloud application. And that's all for today. If you liked the video, you can leave me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and see you in the next video.